The story begins by showing a fish town nestled beneath the sea, where we introduce the Delph, a cheerful dolphin who lived there joyfully alongside his friend Jeb. Delph harbored deep affection for Mia, a dolphin who was the adopted daughter of the town's mayor. But unfortunately Delph could never muster the courage to confess his feelings to her, whereas Mia was on the brink of marrying Alpha, who was Delph's rival in love. That's why they both both hated each other. Meanwhile the town's mayor Octavian, convened a meeting of sea creatures, aiming to address pressing issues. Amidst the gathering a disgruntled angler fish named Udo appears, nursing resentment towards Octavian due to a recent electoral defeat. Despite Udo's attempts to discredit Octavian, the mayor retained the trust of the townsfolk, leaving Udo seething with anger as he departed. Determined to avenge his loss, Udo plots to undermine Octavian's authority. Meanwhile across the sea, a group of moray eels led by their boss Peter, sought to escape their mundane existence and claim Fishtown as their own. And to achieve this goal Peter dispatches Nick and his other two loyal followers to Old Fortress, and instructs them to await his covert signal. Meanwhile Delph weary of Alpha's antics, seeks to hone his extraordinary skill known as the Super Punch. So with the intent to face Alpha, he wanted to practice his skill with confidence. So he seeks permission from Jeb to practice his technique at Old Fortress. However Jeb, haunted by the disappearance of Delph's father in that area, hesitates to grant permission. As ever since Delph's father's existence was unknown to everyone, despite Jeb's refusal, Delph remained steadfast in his belief that his father is still alive, and he often remembered him. There even after Jeb's refusal, Delph proceeds to Old Fortress to continue his super punch practice. While practicing he struck a stone with great force, which causes a hole to form in a door that had been closed for years at Old Fortress. Witnessing this Delph and Jeb impulsively enter the fortress without a second thought, upon seeing the scenery inside, Delph becomes extremely excited, and in the midst of his excitement, he inadvertently passes through an entrance, after which he transforms into a turtle resembling his Aunt Demetra. Initially perplexed by their transformation, both Delph and Jeb soon realizes the magical nature of the entrance, which can enable them to become whatever they desire. Despite their joy at this discovery, they were unknown that they have also noticed by the guards sent by Peter. Delph then go to Octavian to share this significant revelation, although Jeb urges him to keep it a secret, but Delph believes that with Octavian's assistance, the residents of Fishtown could benefit from this transformative power, and this may ensure their safety from external threats. However their plan get halted by Alpha, as according to the rule every being must have to provide the password to enter the town, and with Alpha and his guards responsible for monitoring the entrance, unfortunately Delph and Jeb could not recall the password. This leads Alpha to deny their entry. So disheartened Delph had to retreat. Meanwhile Mia was with her friend Dora. Here Mia reveals to Dora that she too likes Delph, and she was reluctant to marry Alpha. On the other hand, fueled by anger, Delph returns to Old Fortress, determined to transform into a giant shark and teach Alpha a lesson. Meanwhile Nick and his two cohorts have now become aware of the existence of the magical entrance, and utilizing this newfound knowledge, they transform themselves into larger eels. Nick instructs his two companions to remain stationed near the magical entrance, to keep a vigilant watch. With determination, he himself sets off for Morania's town, intending to rally his people to the magical entrance, so that they all could transform themselves and easily take over Fishtown, However Delph overhears Nick's plans and decides to divulge everything to Octavian. This time he overcomes Alpha and his guards at the town's entry point, and rushes to Octavian to reveal the details he shares about not only Nick's scheme and magical entrance, but also Mori Eel's involvement, but despite his earnestness, Octavian and others remain skeptical of the existence of the magical entrance, and dismiss it as mere fantasy concocted by Delph. However, the astute Udo harbors belief in Delph's words and formulates a plan. Upon Delph's departure, Mia endeavors to persuade Octavian to investigate the matter. Convinced by Mia's plea, Octavian commands Alpha to venture to the old fortress with Beta and Gamma to ascertain the truth. Meanwhile, Mia confides in Delph and expresses her trust in him. Despite her support, Delph was determined to keep Mia out of harm's way. Hence, he sets off alone. Witnessing Delph's departure, Mia resolves to accompany him to the old fortress alongside her friend Dora, so that she could vouch Octavian about magical entrance, after witnessing that by herself. However, as she heads to take Dora along, 
she discovers that despite Octavian's orders, Alpha hadn't yet proceeded to the old fortress. He was instead engaged in training his guards for swift swimming. In that moment Mia approaches Dora, urging her to join her. But Dora opts to remain by Alpha's side, and stays there. So ultimately Mia ventures forth alone. On the other hand Delph learns from Jeb that Mia has ventured to the old fortress unaccompanied. Upon learning this, Delph sets out to protect her from those menacing Mori eels. Meanwhile Octavian begins to feel a sense of unease regarding Mia's well-being, his mind drifting back to the day they first met when she was just a child. He recalls how he took her under his wing, adopting her and assuming the role of her guardian ever since. As Mia arrives at the old fortress and encounters the unfamiliar magical entrance, Right then Dora arrives there as well, refusing to let her best friend face whatever lies beyond alone. Together they place their trust in Delphi's. Cryptic words, unbeknownst to them, Nick's companions lurk in the shadows and track their every move with intent to capture them. But suddenly tragedy strikes as Dora succumbs to injury and she collapsed to the ground. It's then that Delph and Jeb arrive on the scene, only to find themselves overpowered by their adversaries, with Mia trapped within the fortress's confines, Delph and his allies realize they cannot confront the threat alone. Desperate for assistance, they reach out to Octavian and inform him of Mia's perilous situation. Delph had devised a plan aimed at transforming all the residents of the town with the assistance of magical entrance. His intention was for them to be adequately prepared to confront the impending army of Mori eels. However, Alpha held a differing opinion and chose to venture alone to the old fortress accompanied by his guards. Upon arrival, they found themselves confronted by Nick's guards, whose superior strength easily overwhelmed them. In this moment of turmoil, Delph found himself engulfed in regret, pondering that had he not discovered the magical entrance, none of these dire events would have unfolded. Amidst his reflections, a glimmer of hope emerged as he considered the possibility that if water already existed within the fortress, there might exist an alternative route. Determined to explore this avenue, he sought counsel from his aunt Demetra, inquiring whether his father had ever mentioned the sunken fortress. On this Demetra tells him that his father Dolphius frequented the place often and shared her about his tales of secrets. One day he discovered a concealed tunnel within the fortress, he encountered a maze of pyramids and arches. Intrigued, he observed two mysterious entrances within the ancient structure. Through his exploration, he deduced that one of those portals had the power to transport both living beings and inanimate objects to the past, while the other held the ability to propel them into the future. Delph speculates that his father inadvertently traveled to the past while experimenting with the entrance, possibly becoming ensnared in that timeline. Meanwhile, Nick arrives at Moranius Town and confides in his boss Peter about the enchanted entrance and transformation. Peter, inspired by this revelation, gets an amazing idea. Meanwhile, upon his return from the ancient fortress, Alpha confides in Octavian and divulges every details. This revelation instills confidence in Delph's earlier account of the enchanted entrances. Subsequently, when Delph arrives, he proposes a daring strategy to counter Moray Eel's scheme presenting the existence of other two additional portals of past and future within the fortress, Delph suggests utilizing the past entrance to transform into giant creatures, where there would be no Mori eels, and after transformation they would return back to the same time, and defeat Moray eels together. However, Delph encounters resistance to his plan, as others fear the potential dangers, recalling Delph's father's disappearance through the past entrance, but then Alpha steps forward, and presents an alternative strategy, he highlights the threat posed by the Moray Eels, that all the remaining Moray Eels from Moranius Town will definitely go to Old Fortress, with their group for transformation, so that they could make themselves invincible and defeat us, so we have to stop them from being transformed in any case, for that we will intercept them in, route to the fortress, and prevent their transformation and ensure victory, and after that we could also save Mia very easily, everyone likes his plan very much, and they go to face Mori Eels, However, Delph, who harbors doubts about Alpha's plan, decides to venture with Jeb in search of the secret tunnel, and after a relentless pursuit, they eventually discover the tunnel's entrance. Passing through it, they emerge on the other side of the fortress, where they encounter the entrance to the past. Delph, determined to test his strategy, steps through. Following his lead, Jeb also enters to offer his support, but to their dismay, they find the entrance gate obstructed, which prevent their escape. 
Trapped inside they stumble upon Dolphius, who had been stranded there for years due to the blocked entrance. Delph's heart brimmed with joy at the sight of his father after countless years apart. However, their attempt to access the transformation arc was thwarted by a blockade at the entrance. But Jeb quick to remind Delph of his unique skill, the super punch, sparked a realization within Delph, he tapped into his extraordinary ability, and creates an opening through which they could escape. Meanwhile Mia, after a strenuous effort, finally broke free from the trap, yet her moment of liberation was short-lived as Nick's allies swiftly closed in on her. Meanwhile a tense standoff ensued between the denizens of Fishtown and the creatures of Moranius Town. United the residents of Fishtown administered a harsh lesson to Mori Eels. However their triumph was short-lived as soon Nick arrives there, who was now towering in size, he launches an attack on everyone in sight. Meanwhile Nick's friends find themselves in pursuit of Mia. However their plans gets interrupted when Delph, Jeb, and Dolphius appears, who have now undergone a transformation through the mystical portal, and with newfound abilities they effortlessly taught Nick's friends a lesson. As the situation unfolds Mia too undergoes a transformation. On the other side, Nick engaged in an intense battle against Alpha and his cohorts. However, Alpha cunningly utilized Delph's skill, causing Nick to fall behind. This makes all the Mori eels to escape from there with fear. Yet amidst the chaos Udo arrives to seek revenge on Octavian, and he was accompanied by a team of formidable sharks, but fortunately Delph and his companions swiftly arrive at the scene, and defeats Udo and his shark allies with ease. With their collective efforts Fishtown emerges victorious. Upon their return Delph felt a deep desire to confess his love to Mia, yet he was hesitated, but encouraged by Jeb and Dolphius. Delph realized it was not too late to express his true feelings, so he summons his courage, and seek out Mia, who was on the verge of marrying Alpha. In a bold move Delph professed his love to Mia, much to her joy and surprise. Meanwhile Alpha too confesses his affection for Dora, and reveals that he actually likes Dora, and in this turn of events, Mia and Alpha's wedding plans gets halted, and instead Alpha and Dora tied the knot, bringing an unexpected but happy conclusion to the tale. And with this the movies comes to an end.